what's up YouTube. In today's video we are going to talk about my favorite EDC camera which is the Fuji X100V paired with this accessory which I've talked about before which is the Fuji WCL X100 Mark II wide conversion lens adapter. So let's get into it. The Fujifilm X100V has been my EDC camera of choice for about a year now. Despite that, I only recently bought the WCL adapter for the X100 system because I never knew if something like this could actually work for me. So just in case you accidentally clicked on this video and don't know what the WCL actually is, WCL stands for Wide Conversion Lens. It's a screw-on conversion lens for the Fuji X100 line of cameras and converts your 35mm equivalent field of view from the stock lens to a slightly wider 28mm full-frame equivalent field of view. Sounds easy enough, right? But if you are anything like myself, you may be asking yourself a couple of questions such as Does this actually work? How will it affect my overall image quality? How will it affect the bokeh? How easy is it to use? And why would you buy this instead of just going for an interchangeable lens system in the first place? There is a lot to get to, so I'll make it swift. I'm not affiliated to Fujifilm in any way, I bought this adapter with my own money and I don't gain anything from selling it to you. So I don't care whether you buy it or not. So let's get into it. First, does it actually work? Well, yes of course, they are selling it, so it works. But what you just have to keep in mind here is that you don't get a new focal length in the truest sense with this conversion. The physical focal length of your fixed 23mm lens doesn't change. That's kind of the point of it being fixed. What this conversion lens does though, is that it bends the light in a way that the widened field of view of an 18mm APS-C or 28mm full frame equivalent can make it into your 23mm lens. So yeah, it works, but it's probably different to what you might expect. More on that in a minute though. Second, how will it affect my overall image quality? I haven't done any scientific tests, but from what I can see, there's a slight bit of distortion. It's not bad by any means, however. Sharpness is alright, especially with the new lens on the X100V. Nothing to complain here. Haven't experienced any other issues like color fringing or lens flares either. So yeah, the overall image quality doesn't suffer. You're good to go, buddy. Third, how will it affect the bokeh in my shots? Ah, probably the most important question of them all, isn't it? The bokeh you get from the stock 23mm f2 isn't ridiculously blurry to begin with unless you are really close to your subject and making that lens even wider doesn't improve that situation. If you want to take quote unquote wide shots with a noticeable amount of blur in the background like you see those cool folks do with their full frame prime lenses at 24 or 28mm, well, you're out of luck here especially when we are talking about portraits or any amount of distance between you and your subject. You can still get some separation if you stay close enough to your subject and get a cool effect there. But if you want to do something like a wide-ish portrait shot with both context of the surrounding area and some background separation, this is not what you're looking for. Even wide open, there's just not much to speak of. That's not necessarily a bad thing though. You can get cool shots with this, no doubt about it. But you need to know what you're getting into. So if you want bokeh, better stick to the 23mm stock lens. Last one. How easy is it to use and why would you not just go for an interchangeable lens system in the first place? I have seen a lot of people complaining about how hard this conversion lens is to screw on on the internet and I have absolutely no clue what they are talking about. It's not hard at all to line it up correctly. You put the lens over the threads of your camera as flat as you can, then turn it counterclockwise until you feel a click. That's when you know that the lens is in the right place to start screwing it clockwise to actually attach it to the camera. It's only a couple of turns and then it's rock solid. I have never had this or the TCL come loose on me. No issues whatsoever. Also, as a special benefit, this should give you at least as much weather protection as a filter adapter and lens filter would. Speaking of filters, the WCL uses the same 49mm filter size as the standard filter adapter for your stock lens. So you can continue to use the filters you already bought. And as a bonus, you can also use that lens hood from your filter adapter on this conversion lens. But before I wrap this video up, there is still a question left unanswered. And that is why you would want to buy this conversion lens if you went for an X100. Why shouldn't you just get an interchangeable system from the get-go? Well, there's no simple answer to that. In my opinion, if you actually want an interchangeable lens camera, this doesn't replace that. It's nice, it's a gimmick, 
and it's a rather elegant way to widen the field of view and get more use out of your camera. But it's not as practical as an actual 18mm prime lens would be and neither does it offer the same image quality, especially in terms of bokeh. So that's why I have an X-T30 alongside my X100V for the times I actually want to make use of the different lenses I have. I do, however, choose to just take the X100V with me on most days for the specific reason of not having to think about my lens selection. It sounds a bit weird maybe, but having to just work with what you got, especially when it's an overall package like the X100V, is just more intuitive for me and allows me to capture more pleasing and more natural results. And I use the WCL in the same way. I don't go out switching back and forwards between this and the TCL and the stock lens at all time. For the most part, I just choose one for the day and run with it. So far, that has worked out great for me. Another point that you have to keep in mind is that the price of this WCL doesn't come anywhere near of what a Fuji Prime lens would cost you. So in conclusion, I'll be honest, it's kind of a gimmick, but a fun one at that. I for one am very glad I gave it a shot and there have been whole weeks where I haven't taken this guy off my X100 even once. Giving me a different fixed focal length has somehow refreshed my love for the X100V and it is also a great way for me to find out whether or not I could actually live with just having a 28mm lens for when the time comes and Leica will finally release the Q2P. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you liked this one. I know this channel is a bit all over the place in between EDC, backpacks and camera stuff, but well, I do this as a hobby and I just want to share the things I care about and give you my two cents. So who knows, maybe I'll throw other stuff in the mix as well, just for good measure. So if you want to come along for the ride, feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate to have you on board. But that's really it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Until next time, take care.